see somebody find a nice home for those children. Well, jazz is often called the most original American art form, and for generations, one local family has played and created some of those famous songs of the genre. Their story is the focus of a new documentary, and our Tracy Strahan caught up with the Coleman's in this morning's Positively Black. News for New York presents Positively Black. We would like to bring in our very, very special guests. The legendary king of the tennis saxophone, Mr. George Coleman. George Coleman. Oh, jazz is literally in the blood of the Coleman family. George Coleman Sr. is a world-renowned saxophonist, most recently inducted into the Memphis Hall of Fame. His son, George Jr., continues to earn accolades as a professional jazz drummer and is in the process of producing a documentary about his family's great musical legacy. Both men join us now to talk about another kind of soul, the Coleman legacy. What a rich legacy it is, and how happy are we to have both of you here. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much, here. Tracy. Yeah. I'm grateful to be here. Well, we got to start with Pop here, because it started here. We've been talking all morning about whom you've played with, where you've played, and how many people you know. Were you surprised when your son came to you saying, we got to put this into a movie? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's worked hard on it, quite diligently. <laughs> and uh, he has reaped some rewards from, from his efforts. Now, did you have any hesitation saying, maybe there's some stories we don't want to tell, some things we don't want to put in there? Well, yeah, there have <laughs> been a few, but <laughs> well, hopefully they will, they will, they, they will be de deleted. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about what is actually in the film, George Jr. How long did it take for you to put this together? And what are some of the things that you learned about your father and some of your other relatives, even your mom, that was in the business? Well, I basically, uh, you know, I wasn't a filmmaker by trade. I was a musician mm -hmm. uh, and before that an engineer. So uh, I met with some people out in California, a producer out there by the name of Mitchell Block, and he turned me on to Sam Pollard. And Sam Pollard and Mitchell were really um, instrumental in, in sort of getting me on the way and pointing me in the right direction. Right. Your father is one to watch. I would f listen to his stories forever and ever. Is there one particular story in the documentary that stands out to you? Well, I think it, one of the big ones was we went down to Tampa, uh, Florida, where his uh, stepbrother uh, now lives. And really, they, they were brothers, you know, because they basically grew up together. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't seen uh, uh, Junior in probably 30 years. Wow. And so just sitting at Junior's coffee table with my dad and just going over the family history about... Uh, I found out that Junior bought the first saxophone in the family, and that my father then, you know, kind of co-opted uh, co the saxophone and then began, uh, you know, began playing it, and the rest is history, as they say. Now, before that history is made on film, you are looking for funding for this. Tell us about the website where folks can go to contribute to this film. Yeah, I was actually approached uh, by this website, which is called pleasefund.com. Okay. Uh, and uh, they are a little unique in that they try to do things like this. They try to, to, to help uh, the people who are trying to raise funds uh, go out and get uh, advertising right. and marketing for your actual project. And people can, do, all they have to do is go to the pleasefund.com uh, website, look under documentaries, they'll see our documentary, and, and if they, f they feel inclined <laughs> to do so, they can uh, send us a donation. A lot of good stories in the documentary. It's called A Coleman Legacy. Another yeah. kind of soul. Yeah. Thank you both for being here.